Well, you see this place behind me. It used to be one of the hottest destinations in the West, a place for the rich and the famous to enjoy a little downtime. But five hours south of Las Vegas near Palm Springs, California, the Salton Sea has become an environmental problem. And the Colorado River links the sea to southern Nevada. In tonight's special report, Disappearing Salton Sea, News 3's Denise Rosh explores what's at stake. Ooh, there's a lot of people come here. A lot of boats fishing and, you know, a lot of things. Gas station owner Lorenzo Alaveras has been around long enough to remember when times were different. From 1974. When the soundtrack of the Salton Sea was something other than the constant drone of flies. Less than a mile from the water, he knows exactly what went wrong. I know it's too salty. The fishery appears to be dying. Uh, it's, an in, it's an inside basin, and so it's getting more and more saline. Joan Taylor is an environmentalist who's worked on issues with the Salton Sea for more than two decades. Half the species, the bird species that migrate from South America to Canada, are um, feeling the hit. But to understand what the Salton Sea is, it's important to remember what it was. Here is truly a miracle in the desert. Back in the 50s and 60s, a recreational paradise, a so-called accidental lake created when an irrigation canal broke in the early 1900s and the Colorado River flowed in. That was then. Right now, we have a sea that has limited inflow mostly fed from agricultural runoff. Today, deserted campgrounds and boarded up old buildings greet the casual traveler. But with roughly 100 miles of shoreline, a plan is in the works to save the shrinking lake. The issues, economic, ecological, and health-related from exposed playa. One thing our camera cannot pick up is the smell coming off the Salton Sea. It's hydrogen sulfide. Think rotten eggs spread out for miles. And people who live nearby tell me in the summer that smell is constant. Doing nothing is the most irresponsible and costly of all alternatives. Phil Rosentrader is general manager and executive director of the Salton Sea Authority. We occasionally have storms that blow all the way to Los Angeles. So we're talking about a human health impact. There's not just this area. It's tens of millions of people potentially impacted by inhaling fine particle dust. Rosen Trader says there are opportunities here, such as geothermal energy projects. Money, of course, an issue. The first 10 years of that plan are estimated to be in the $400 million range. They're mostly wetlands and sort of terracing down, catching the water as it flows in, spreading it out, and terracing it down so we have habitat and dust coverage at the same time. All of it very much a California problem. Except, you know, when you look at the Colorado River, we are all connected. 90% of our water supply here in the valley comes from the Colorado River. Bronson Mack with the Southern Nevada Water Authority. How Colorado River water might be used to help the Salton Sea in the future provides a level of certainty to water managers here in Nevada. Meantime, California is receiving technical expertise and support for restoration projects from the Bureau of Reclamation, charged with overseeing water resources management throughout the region. Genevieve Johnson is stationed in Boulder City. The Salton Sea issue um, is not necessarily going to affect water use in Nevada. There could be other issues related to drought, which is a bigger issue across the whole West. Back at the shore. I think it's beautiful. I don't swim in it anymore. Environmentalists and locals agree something's got to give. Oliveris has built a life around the Salton Sea. We know everybody. Everybody knows everybody. He's still waiting for customers to return. Until then, it's the flies <laughs> who rule the shoreline. Denise Roche, News 3.